Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Stephanie Fonseca and I thought to do these intros a little bit different because why would I show you the completed look first and then go on to the video? So if you want to see the first of three Halloween makeup looks, just keep watching. So the Halloween makeup look that we are going to be doing today is a hybrid of these. Now, when I say hybrid of these is I take inspiration from multiple pieces and then try to do them my own special way with the things that I have in front of me. So the first item that we will be using today is going to be the P. Louise Bata Black Base. Now, this can be used as anything but we are going to have to set it. Then we are also going to be going into the Suva Hydra FX liner. You're gonna figure out why. Now this has a UV glow. And if you know about me, I love anything that glows in the dark. So we're gonna be using those two as well as an LA Colors eyeliner brow pencil that I bought at the dollar store so that we can do our outlining because outlining is going to be very important in this look. And then sometimes, if it's necessary, I'm gonna go in to this um, Maybelline Eye Studio Black, Black is Black eyeliner. And a bunch of small baby brushes. Now, the other items that we are gonna go into are going to be oranges, and I'm going to be using the ColourPop Orange You Glad and Soul eyeshadows. Everything else is going to be in the Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette. So let's get started, right? We're going to have some liquid latex. So if you are allergic to latex, just don't do that part. But for the most part, let's get started with this look. So first things first, we're going to So first things first, we're going to take our LA Colors Eyeliner Brow Pencil and we're going to do an outline. So we're going to cut my face, so that's gonna kind of look like this. So for all intents and purposes, that's our first part. Now we're going to start right over here and I'm gonna bring this over here. But we're gonna just start making some peaks. So we got this top part outlined. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom. Okay, see, very, very easy. Now, here, we're kinda going to do a similar look, just going in here. Pretty easy for the first part, don't you think? Now, another thing that we're going to be going into is right here. The way I do this, frown line, right there. Easiest way, because then you're going to contour that line and you're going to shape it and do everything and then it's going to look perfect so don't worry about it okay so we got the first part done simple and easy right the next part that we're gonna go into is the P Louise bad at black base now I don't have a palette if you have a palette go ahead and use it but I use the back of my hand because it is that easy and we're going to be extreme generous and I know that doesn't seem like extremely generous but a little bit goes very long way so okay so the two brushes that we are going to be using is one is honestly an artist brush that I bought at Michaels which is this one right here and then we have the um, wet and wild like concealer brush that I bought at the dollar store so don't use your best brushes on this because it's not necessary. 
So we're gonna go ahead and kind of just tap into this and kind of go ham. Honestly, you can just start going like this and then do the touch-ups with the detail liner brush. Liner brush. Now we're gonna go into the details. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of brush strokes. We're gonna go back into it. We're gonna go in with some black eyeshadow to kind of just set the base. So do not worry about it just yet because that's gonna be handled at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this the rest in and we will be right back. Okay, so now that we have all of that set, we're gonna go in to the Dare to Create palette and we're going to grab this black right here. Now this, I'm going to put on this fluffy brush right here and I know it's not going to want to focus. And we're gonna just tap in and pat. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this and then we're gonna come right back. But you're just gonna fill in all of this and then honestly just tap until the top because it's not really gonna be that necessary. But you're gonna just do that like that. And don't worry about it being perfect because we're gonna go over it with the Hydra FX liner. Okay? We'll be right back. One thing I didn't do. The nose. Just the same exact format that you do when doing the skull face. You're just gonna do two little flames, cover the bulb, and then I'm gonna go in with the bat of black a little bit more, and we're going to cover the tip of the nose. Once you have that, same thing. Take the same brush and just Pat the black. <laughs> I'm having so much fun here. You have no idea. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, close this right up. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how much fun I'm having. Okay. This is like one of those science projects where like, it looks like crap. And then once you're like getting closer to the idea, you're like, knew what I was doing. Okay, so we're gonna go into the Suva Hydra FX liner. And now you have to make sure that you're going to get a liner that has... Girl, if you don't come off. That's what I thought. A liner that has a really, really fine point and it's gonna look like that. So, this is a Hydra FX, so you're going to have a little bit of water on the side, wet it, and then go into the Suva. And it'll just emulsify. I know big words, right? That's why I have my masters. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and emulsify it. Now once you have it all like that, it's gonna look like that. I am going to make sure that the point looks really solid so i'm gonna go ahead and overline this as such if you get some of the black on it don't really worry about it it's gonna be fine So, 
I was gonna say that we're gonna do this little part right here um, and you don't have to do it if you don't want to however it could look dope so you're gonna wet it a lot and you're gonna make sure that it kind of looks pasty I don't think you could see that because of how bright the light is but you're gonna make it a little pasty if that makes sense and once you make it pasty, you're going to go ahead and you're going to do like a couple of shadow dots. Like that. Okay. So then you're going to go ahead and basically outline right here. So we have that part done. Now, onto the eyes. Now, we're gonna kinda imitate the same eye look on both sides. So, we're gonna go in with this red color. Oop, and you can't see that, so let's move that. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this red color right here, and we're gonna kinda just be really, really messy with it because honestly, this doesn't need to look like a cute, pretty look on look at me so what you're gonna end up doing is i'm gonna get a brush that i really don't care about and we're gonna go into this red right here and honestly that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do that so you're just gonna go right here and once we do that let me go ahead and try and find it we're gonna go into this kind of orangey look right here and we're just gonna buff that in so once you have that right there i'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye now do i have the base on it no i don't we're just going we're gonna go straight this is a halloween look yeah you want it to look amazing but at the same time it's a halloween look so if you're half a jack-o-lantern You think that cute? That's gonna look cute? You think that's just gonna be pretty? No. Is he dumb? Is he stupid? No. Okay. So you're gonna do that. Okay. Okay. Stay with me here. You're gonna grab a fluffy brush literally fluff that because right here you're gonna bring this up into your brow bone because we can't see it anymore but that's gonna be right there so we're gonna fluff this right here into the line and we're gonna fluff it now this is where you kind of just go in to your liking and you kind of just go off on a whim and whatever looks bad you just continue fluffing but then like you also work around it and manage it so that it looks cute. I hope that makes sense. So honestly if it doesn't look cute just continue buffing on it like yes that's the look we're going for. So once I buff that, I'm gonna go ahead and buff this side. That's gonna look like that. So second thing that we're gonna do is get the black. Go back into black, and now we're just gonna buff this, or just put this on our eye. You just wanna put it everywhere, to be honest. Remember that blending brush? Yeah, go back into it. Go ahead into that and we're gonna just make this black a little bit darker I don't want to look 
ugly, you know? So we're just gonna continue, go back into it and blend that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, remember that brush that we went in with the red? Same thing, you're gonna hit it and you're going to outline everything that you just did. With that, we're gonna go into Orange You Glad and you're gonna take kind of You Peel Me. You're gonna take You Peel Me and you're going to set this in the crevices of each and every place that you put your Hydra effects. Now, this part doesn't have to look perfect because to be honest, it's not going to. Next thing that we're gonna do is I have this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and honestly, it doesn't have to be anything. It just has to be a random brush that you can just blend out with. And with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and buff out everything else that I've already done just so that it looks smoother, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that and brush it. Now what I like about the fact that the, these strokes right here don't look so, they kind of look splotchy, but it's okay because we're trying to go for that look of like veins coming out and it really gets that look. So we're going to go ahead and continue blending this and close this up and we're going to go in to the NYX That's The Point eyeliner and for this look we're going to go ahead and do a liner. Okay. Once you have your liner on both sides, we're going to go back in to the AOA Studio liner and we're going to go ahead and go back into the Hydra FX. Gonna get that to be an actual paste right there and we're going to create this liner outline so hopefully this looks bomb hopefully I can pull off the look that's in my head but this is what we're going for so let's go So I went ahead and finished the liner. Now what you can obviously do is since it's a Hydra FX, it's really easy to clean up. So I just went into the water and used a um, slanted brush to kind of just go clean it up. Um, after that, um, I went ahead and did my eyebrows and put some mascara on. I'm going to go ahead and do a light beat on the whatever part of my face actually shows and then we will be back to do the liquid latex peel off skin effect so let's go <laughs> okay so we went ahead and glammed up this side as much as we possibly can so now comes the part that is interesting yet fun but did I say interesting? So we're going to grab these little beauty sponges and if you don't know where to get them, the dollar store. If you haven't noticed, the dollar store has a lot of good things for you to use, especially when you're balling on a budget for Halloween. I know we're not gonna go anywhere for Halloween, better not because of COVID, but you know, I hope y'all Stay safe and stay healthy if you guys do go out. And if you do, wear a mask. Anyways, so we're gonna take the edge of the sponge and we're gonna go into the latex and we're just gonna go ahead and stamp this all over that black line. Now, remember how I said it doesn't really matter because it's gonna look ugly anyways? Yeah, that's this part, so. 
we're gonna go ahead and stamp that all around. Okay, now that we have that, we're gonna grab a couple of cotton rounds and unravel it for its cotton. So, as you unravel it, you're gonna stick the cotton on the latex as such. I know it looks weird right now, but we're gonna get to it. We're gonna work on it. It's all a process. You know how it looked ugly in the beginning? <laughs> Some of you guys are like, it looks ugly now, so <laughs> mind your business. Anywho, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into the rest of this and stick that all in the liquid latex. So now you're gonna go back in with the sponge and with the liquid latex and stamp that on it, but that was a malfunction and I hate myself because of this malfunction. This is one we improvise, adapt, and overcome. So it's a squirt bottle. Yes. What you thought was the worst possible option. We are going to do it, but it doesn't really flow out of it, so you don't really have to be too scared of this. Um, this I picked up at Party City, so I picked... Bear with me. It's gonna dry, trust me. Y'all don't have to worry about that one. Remember when I told you not to worry? Don't worry about it. It's going to be just fine. You see, it dries off and liquid latex dries off, dries down clear, so don't worry about it. If it drips, let it drip, let it drip. It'll just help the effects. So now we're gonna let this dry and then we'll be right back. Later. Okay, so we're all dried down. Took a minute, not gonna lie. So we're gonna go in with the pump and we're gonna put that on the back of our hand right here. And remember those little sponges? Use the back side. And we're gonna go ahead and pounce that all on the edge. Now I know what you're saying, thinking, whatever. Why are we doing this stuff? And to be honest, this is the skin peeling off. Come on now, guys. Come on now. We gotta, we gotta understand that. So we're gonna go ahead, put this all over the liquid latex, kinda just to camouflage it. And don't worry if it gets all over there. Honestly, like I told you, let's repeat after me. It's not supposed to look pretty. Your skin peeling off is not supposed to look pretty. Understood? Okay, good. So, thank goodness I have another cotton round. I'm gonna wipe off any of that excess. And this is coming to an end guys. The end is very, very near. So I have this basic fake blood and it's in a squeezy tube. So you know what we're gonna do. Gonna go all around the edge of this right here. And, guys, there is our completed look. Now, if you thought that this is it, let me show you. No, 
in order for this to glow all the time, will you probably have to carry around a black light? Yes, but you can probably find that on Amazon, honestly, with like one of those battery pack uh, black lights. Honestly, you name it, I feel like Amazon will have it. But, so with all that being said, I hope that this video was easy enough for you guys to follow. Remember, it's a Halloween look, not a glam look. So it doesn't have to look perfect. Do you see the blood like still dripping? Come on now, don't worry about it. Have fun with it. I hope this was easy for you guys to follow along with and go ahead and comment any other looks you want to see for the future. But we're gonna have one glam cutesy look and then we're gonna have a remix from one of my first Halloween looks. And I'm so excited for that video. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I see you guys recreate this look and send it to me on my Instagram. It's gonna be right here. Also, my TikTok. Come on now. Thought I forgot about it. You'll see this look on there as well. And I think that just leaves us with one thing. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, click the bell notification button. We have sports videos every Wednesday and beauty, I guess gore on Fridays. Don't forget to be safe, stay healthy, and wear a mask. And I don't mean this one, especially if you're gonna be going out on Halloween. Again, I'm Stephanie Fonseca. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.